All of us studied mathematic functions at school, including such notions as sine and cosine. The graphs of these functions present a specific curve, the sinusoid. The cosine graph is also frequently called the cosinusoid, but it actually is sinusoid shifted at the angle of 90 degrees. The sinusoid was known back in the past to the ancient Indian mathematicians. It became known to European scientists a lot later. The sinusoid shows the alteration of the lens of the catheters within a rectangular triangle. If you measure the lens of the catheters opposite to various values of the acute angle or its relationship to the hypotenuse to be more precise and sum up the results within the graph, you will obtain the sinusoid. You may come across it's not only in geometry textbook. You will find it in the guidebooks to radio engineering, acoustics, mechanics, atomic and molecular physics, optics and electrotechnology. The point is that the abstract curve, the sinusoid, is a precise copy of the graphs defining various physical processes, such as the large vibrations or vibrations of the ideal frictionless pendulum, alternate current, which occurs when the conductor is being rotated within magnetic field. The sinusoid processes, that is, the processes defined by sinusoid graphs, have quite a number of remarkable properties. For instance, the sinusoid-like alternate current passes complicated electric circuits without distortions, whereas an, any other current is seriously distorted there. Another remarkable property of the sinusoid-like current is the possibility of distinguishing all the sinusoidal components out of the complex current. Another peculiarity of the sine and cosine is that the graphs in their derivatives are also shaped as a sinusoid, that is, the rate of alternation of these functions follows the same law. In alternate current circuits, it is frequently not so much the strength of the signal that matters, but the rate of alternation. The transformer must serve as an example. The sinusoid current passing along the primary bundling produces sinusoidal magnet current within the magnet wire. As a result of electromagnetic induction, the alternate magnet current produces within all the bundling, including the primary bundling, the sinusoidal inductance voltage proportional to the first derivative of the magnetic current.